the 10, the top 10 sports cars under $10,000. We enjoyed making it. If you'd like to see more, <laughs> why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I'm a YouTuber. I try to do the YouTube. <laughs>
Uh, if you just like, yeah, cruising on the mountains, it's nice. Yeah, and like coils, fun. coil sways, and then like I would honestly say roll cage, like little half cage. H brace, you could say, oh yeah, all of there's it. There's a lot, there's a lot. There's, there's a lot of lot. stuff you could do. Mazda Miata. Mazda Miata is number three. Do you come here often? Uh, no, I don't. I appreciate sure bringing here. Though. Okay, so number four! See how spontaneous that was? I gotta keep my eyes on the road before we die. My number four. I'm pretty sure you could find an okay B5 S4 for under 10K. Uh, it's all wheel drive, like I said again, because I, I, you know, all wheel drive, thank you. Uh, you can find them a manual, and they're twin turbo six cylinders. And there's a lot of tunability that you could do to it. That is and a good word. Tunability. It's a tunable car. Yeah, B5 S4 twin turbo six cylinder. I actually reviewed one. If you didn't already see it. So here's the clip. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna find that. Come on, dog. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, number five. Why do I clap every single I time? I clap too. You do. I okay. know. I'm not gonna clap this time. All right, for number sure. five on the list. <laughs> <laughs> and since in like me coming from a GTI as my first car, I'm gonna have to say a Mark IV GTI. And. I don't really know if you can find them yet. I don't know if they've dropped in price, but a Mark IV R32. But I say a GTI more so because they come with a 1.8 turbo, and there's a lot of stuff you can do to get more horsepower out of them than the VR6 R32. Yes, they're front wheel drive, but they're lighter, and then like I said, they're turbo, so you can make them They fast. handle well. They handle really well, A lot well, of people yeah. say, like front wheel drive is not that good, and I, I, I kind of agree with them, just because I like either rear or all, but front wheel drive is not bad. That's number five for me. I'm about to hit this car. So before I owned the blah, blah, blah. before I owned the Subaru, I used to have a 325 Ci, but I wish I got the 330. And that's the next car I want to talk about. A 330 Ci, you can get them in six speed manuals, the ZHP package. Uh, it's rear wheel drive. It has decent power, not as much as an M3, but they're obviously cheaper. And the looks, you could put an M3 front bumper, which is like the, exactly like I had on my old car. You could do like a, a quad exhaust, if, you know, I'm just saying I had that. Uh, again, a lot of tunability with that car. And just because it's a BMW, doesn't mean that all the parts are that expensive. Like aftermarket, you can still get stuff that's relatively on the cheaper side and modify it to the point where it's aesthetically pleasing. You like that word? I don't know where these words are coming from, but know. a 330 Ci I would definitely get. You could find one for like probably like seven Gs, like a clean one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a good car. All right, my car next on the list, I say tops the 330 Ci, and that's just because it's me is an AP1 S2000, and then oh. I know for a fact you can find them for under ten thousand. They are six speed manual, rear wheel drive, and the VTEC with. I wouldn't even know what you would call it, but just how high the VTEC engine revs in the S2000 would be like almost a selling feature for me or like a really? selling factor, yeah. Well, VTEC is just like basically, it's a computer, it's computer controlled. It's kind of like a turbo in a way that it, it turns on essentially. So there is two sets of lobes on the cam, I think. Okay. And when it gets to a certain RPM, I want to say to it switches to a different lobe on the cam, which raises the valves a little bit higher, letting more fuel and air in, which intake, you, that's what it goes, wah, wah, it goes to like a different level. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And if it doesn't, don't quote me, don't hate me, but I'm pretty sure that's kind of how it works. Or you could just say VTEC. Or just VTEC. But like I wanted to get like No, that makes whatnot. sense. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I next? S2000 was mine, so you're S2000, next. S2000, okay, I'm next. Number eight. Like that? Nah, no, I didn't either. <laughs> anyway, number <laughs> number eight is a Nissan 350Z. The reason why I say that is because they sound so, so good. They do. They sound so good. Okay, Jordan and I are obviously obsessed with GTRs, and it sounds like a baby GTR if you uh, didn't watch <clears throat> my last video. Anyway, they sound really good. It's a V6, it's a 3.5 liter, it's rear wheel drive, and it looks good for what it is. It, it has aged well, in my opinion. It has, and there's so it's much bad. aftermarket parts you can so buy for many it aftermarket parts. to make it so customized and like yeah. look different. Yeah, it's a rear wheel drive sports car that you could find in manual. The interior is 
It's all right. It's okay. It's, right. it's it's different. It's different. I know that you can move the steering wheel and the gauges move with it, which is pretty cool. And also has three gauges like on like the dash, which is also kind of a neat feature. Yes, yeah. that's cool. And yeah. it's a Nissan. I would say it's somewhat reliable. No. 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 <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Uh, Honestly, don't know if it's that reliable. But I mean, they sound really cool. They look pretty good, and it's under ten thousand. So call that a deal. All right, so for number nine on the list, I'm gonna hit you with the curveball. Hold on, let me, let me curve it on over. There we go. That works. So, I believe that they came in 89.90, but the Mark I Supras, uh, they come with an, a 1JZ, so they're turboed. I like my phone in my hand. 1JZ, turboed, they're rear wheel, rear wheel drive, manual, and they're honestly not that bad looking. Respect your elders. Respect your elders. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> it was, it was yeah, nice it was doing this video. video. It was nice doing this video. Nice video. video. Yeah. Okay, number 10 to finish it off. We can't leave out. <laughs> <You thought you'd> <laughs> <laughs> what don't we leave I, out? You know, I didn't, I wasn't thinking of a car the whole time. I thought if I said that sentence, it would just come to me like the gods, but they didn't tell me anything. And lastly, number 10, you have to show love to all the drifters out there. A 240SX. I honestly don't know that much about them, but I know they come in manual. I know you could slide everywhere. And I know there is an endless amount of aftermarket parts that you could put on for yeah. really cheap. For and really you basically, cheap. yeah, you can just throw on any bumper and then call it a day because you're going to be drifting everywhere. Pretty if much. I was a drifter, I would have one. Oh, 240 with I'll start dog. drift. Nah, I won't. I'll nah. probably die. I'll probably die. I'd probably get a huge stomach ache. Yeah. I'd have to carry like Pepno Bismol in my, you know, like yeah. pull e brake, take a shot of Pepno, you know? Yeah. A lot That's of stuff going on. Yeah. A lot of stuff going on. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the top 10 sports cars under $10,000. Are you tired? Are you? <laughs> Do you see? Wait, are you looking through the viewfinder? I'm looking through the finder of your life. We just had sandwiches and I'm really tired. No one it's, cares about I'm, your sandwiches. I'm digesting and I'm really okay, tired. Okay, we're done with him. I'm sorry I had to deal with him the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the ten, <laughs> the top 10 sports cars under $10,000. We enjoyed making it. If you'd like to see more, <laughs> why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I'm a YouTuber. I try to do the YouTube. <laughs> if you guys want to see more of these videos, comment down below. You're, uh, you want to see more? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're at 3000. Oh, out. shit.